Now the feedback part, that's the part we really have no, no control over. Uh, and that uh, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad and, and sometimes it's bad and sometimes it's bad. It was really depressing. The first, the first few reviews that came out, not only, they weren't, I mean, they weren't even bad reviews, they were hateful reviews. It was as if, you know, we were, you know, sodomizing young children on TV every week. It was, it was that, it was, they hateful reviews. So terrible, it deserves to be studied. Uh, uniformly dull, we're a historic mess. Uh, that was a great one. It was a historic mess. It's actually the most impressive thing that's ever been said, good or bad, about our show. <laughs> I'm very proud about a historic our show mess. Is historic. <laughs> <laughs> We've made history. Because I figure that, you know, if we're going to be hated, I'd rather someone really hate us. I'd rather not waver, they either like us or really hate us with like, with like a vengeance. We had some horrendous views, some of the most uh, vicious I think I've ever seen in this business. It was not a lot of fun as you would expect. We got a negative two stars from a paper. I've never seen anybody get a negative anything in a paper. I've seen like one star is pretty bad. We got negative two. But we did get a really good promo out of it. It's us sitting in this very nice field uh, in the middle of nowhere, very rustic and everything. We're just sitting there crying in the middle of the field as our bad reviews sort of scroll past the screen. <laughs> and there's a, the, uh, the, the old BG song, I Started a Joke, uh, is playing under it. The press especially has sort of a chip on its shoulder about MTV. So they had that going into it. Plus, it's, it's more of a, I mean, it's a, I guess you'd say it's sort of a generational sensibility, too. And there's not a lot of, you know, 18 to 27-year-olds running major metropolitan newspapers. I know as a producer I'm supposed to be aware of the demographic and I kind of have the rule and I just say just be funny because it's hard enough to be funny and so if, if you're funny I think it takes care of a lot of things. Certainly we skew young but I think that from the mail and from the feedback it, it's, it's a wide range of audience that's watching. I think it took a little while for the show to catch on. It's the kind of show that I think people watch a few times and then they start to really warm up to it and groove to it whereas Sometimes the initial reactions were like, what's this all about? Right. The shows went out there and people started seeing them. And I think, I think what happened is people sampled the show. They saw the show more than once and twice, and they plugged into the sensibility and what was going on, and they would be able to relate to the different cast members as individuals. And it takes time. Obviously, a lot of the initial comparisons were like Soul Train and uh, Welcome Back, Cotter, and that sort of thing. But I think, Jersey I think City Blues. mostly Jersey, Jersey City Blues. And, but uh, a lot of their favorite characters are... Uh, anything, well, pretty much anything I'm in, uh, and that's understandable. Uh, uh, anything I'm not in. Right. Which is also, right. which is, that's, that's probably more understandable. The, you know, m most everyone else in, in the papers don't, aren't crazy about us, but, but we, we don't care. We hate them all. We hate them all. Watch your back, pal. One of the things that we got some flack in the press for was that we only had the one woman in the group. I don't want to say dressing up in drag is a, is a fun thing to do, but it is. It is, and if you have the chance, do it. There's nothing like slipping on a pair of stockings and a, and a padded bra to make you feel like a man. I, I don't look all that good in a, in a, like a mini shiny skirt. mini skirt. No. I don't look terrible. He doesn't look bad. He definitely not. does not look good. I think some of them look a hell of a lot better than I do. But um, then again, I ain't no Cindy Crawford. The feedback from, from, from the, the audience has been great. Um, so we're not, we're not really too down on ourselves. Well, after a week of crying, we pretty much just got it together and, and just moved on. It's their sensibility that's out there, and, and the show is a really extension of, of them, and, and that is different than anything that's on television. We, I mean, we, felt, we always felt the shows were funny, and people that we know uh, felt the shows were funny, people who, you know, had known us since our college days, all really liked the shows and said that they really retained the original spirit of the group from when we were on stage that it really had a lot of, you know, it was very fun and spontaneous and all that kind of stuff. So we felt pretty good about it, and we really felt like we accomplished uh, what we set out to do. So I think it's just going to be, I mean, maybe the papers will never love us, but then they, they don't sign the checks, so right. that's all right. Man, man, man.